What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and the ATB Cup has finally been set. We have our draw all set to go and we have the teams in their groups. Remember it's four groups, three teams in each group and only 12 teams this time because we don't have enough time before the Australian Open to a full competition. So Group A is headed by the world number one, Novak Djokovic, representing Serbia. He will take on Sasha Zverev's Germany, and he'll also have to take on Shapovalov and Rajonic, who are playing for Canada. So this is a very tough group for Djokovic. Some tough matches there in the singles, and it'll be interesting to see how many doubles matches he plays as well. Going on to Group B now, we have Spain and Rafa Nadal, of course, at the top of that. He will take on Pass and Greece, and also the host nation Australia. So Alex Dimonor, he will be taking on him again. They had a tough match last year at the ATP Cup. We'll be having to do it again. Group C is probably the most open group with Austria and Dominic Team at the top. He'll take on Berrettini's Italy, who also Fanini is going to be playing for. Also, he'll have to take on Team France, which will have Monfils and Benoit Paire in the singles, and probably the best doubles team going around in this competition with Mahou and Roger Vasselin. So, Group C, any team could get through. There's some really big names there, so it's going to come down to the wire, I think. And then Group D, headed by Russia and Daniel Medvedev, of course, Andre. Rublev is also playing for Team Russia. Russia will take on Argentina and Diego Schwartzman, and also Kane Ishikori and Japan. So Japan qualified thanks to Kane Ishikori's protected ranking, but I think this is probably the easiest group, and Russia should get out of this one. So there are the group stages. We will be breaking down the head-to-head -head and all that kind of stuff in a separate video. But Novak Djokovic with Team Serbia, he's going to have to fight for his matches. And Daniel Medvedev's got to be pretty happy with the group he picked because he is going to be playing against players that he knows he can beat. Let me know down in the comments below who is going to win this because I think it's very open. Serbia's got a tough group. Spain hasn't got a walk in the park either. And Russia have a pretty good group. But can Russia beat Serbia and Spain this year? That'll be the question. So the ATP Cup groups have been drawn, and we have some great matchups in a couple weeks' time.